Welcome all, Papa G here. Today I present my easy to make, meal prep convenient barbecue chicken casserole. Using my homemade barbecue sauce, this recipe brings all the flavor of barbecue chicken without having to fire up the grill. This is one winner winner chicken dinner. Let's get started. Begin by adding some zero sugar ketchup to a small sauce pot on medium heat. Add some apple cider vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, just a little liquid smoke, a sugar substitute equal to three tablespoons of regular sugar, salt, ground black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, some smoked paprika, and some red pepper flakes. Give this a mix to blend together. Once it begins to bubble, give a stir and remove from the heat. To a saute pan on medium heat, add four tablespoons of unsalted butter. Swirl it around a bit to ensure the bottom of the pan is coated as it melts. Add a quarter cup of chopped red onions and continue to stir and gently cook as the butter melts. We're not really sauteing the onions here, just getting the onion flavor into the butter. We'll add a little more flavor with some minced garlic. Again, we're not trying to cook the onions and garlic, more so infuse the flavor into the butter. Now add five ounces of baby spinach to the butter and gently stir and fold to coat the spinach. Once the spinach has wilted a bit, remove from the heat. Lightly oil an 8 by 12 inch casserole dish and set aside. Add 16 to 20 ounces of cooked shredded chicken to a large mixing bowl. I just used a couple of rotisserie chickens from my local grocer. I prefer the mix of white and dark meat for more flavor. Add the barbecue sauce we made earlier. One cup of finely grated cheddar cheese. And the buttered spinach. Mix this thoroughly. You want to be sure all the chicken is coated in the sauce. Add the chicken to the oiled casserole dish and spread evenly, but don't compact it. Add six slices of cooked chopped bacon evenly over the top. I made this easy and used pre-cooked bacon and crisped it up a bit in the microwave. Add the final cup of cheese over the top. Now as you may have noticed, all the ingredients are already cooked. At this point, you can cover and store in the refrigerator to heat later or place directly in the middle of a 350 degree oven for between 15 to 25 minutes. We're only melting the cheese and heating the casserole. Your time will depend on how cold your casserole is before you place it in the oven. Once the casserole is heated through and the cheese is melted, remove from the oven. Cut into six servings and enjoy. Delicious. There you have it folks, my super simple, easy to make barbecue chicken casserole. All the flavor of a backyard barbecue without all the fuss. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.